Well, his critics and even a former prime minister say that they're dubious about his ability to run anything at all, let alone the country. Jordan Bardella says he's ready for the job. On national television, the far-right candidate set his conditions. I'm not in politics for my personal glory. If tomorrow it becomes possible to be named prime minister, but I don't have an absolute majority because the French people do not give me one, then I would refuse the premiership. I want the power to act. Meanwhile, on the left, the new Popular Front alliance is yet to agree on how to decide and who to pick. France Unbound's Jean-Luc Mélenchon and François Ruffin, they both said they'd like the job. But the Socialist Party says that voting on the issue is the way to go. I cannot impose a Socialist Prime Minister. No one can impose a France Unbow candidate either. The only way forward is to vote and to agree on the person who best corresponds to the situation. For the Greens, the prime ministership debate is both premature and should not be the current priority. We're a group, a team. What counts is showing a united front, talking about concrete things, the lives of people. The French aren't interested in the name of the prime minister, but how they'll eat, how their kids will go to school, their medical treatments in hospitals. That's what we need to tackle to be up to the task and to stop manoeuvring. While the upcoming election will determine the political makeup of the French National Assembly and give it the potential to work for or against the next prime minister, it's actually the president who has the final say on who his next prime minister is.